You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Now, let me do this here. I'm going to break this thing down. Of course, the political leaders have announced that a deal has been struck. This is Speaker Nancy Pelosi uh, earlier today. Good afternoon. Over the last several weeks, our nation has been faced with a grave and accelerating challenge, one that tests our compassion, ingenuity, and resolve, the coronavirus crisis. Sadly and prayerfully, we have learned of the tragic deaths of at least 41 Americans from this public health emergency so far. The American people expect and deserve a coordinated, science-based, and whole-of-government response to keep them and their loved ones safe, a response that puts families first to stimulate the economy. To put families first, last week the House passed a strong bipartisan $8.3 billion emergency funding package of entirely new funds. We made a well-funded, evidence-based investment in public health, in developing treatments and a vaccine available to all in prevention preparedness and response measures and helping state, local, tribal, and territorial hospitals and health systems, and in supporting impacted small businesses with SBA loans, and helping families by extending telemedicine services no matter where they live. Democrats' swift action to pass this emergency funding was essential to our nation's long overdue response. Next. Senate Democratic Leader Schumer and I, last weekend, called for further action to put families first. Today, we are passing a bill that does just that, the Families First Coronavirus Response Act, which is focused directly on providing support for America's families, who must be our first priority. The three most important parts of this bill are testing, testing, testing. This legislation facilitates free coronavirus testing for everyone who needs a test, including the uninsured. We can only defeat this outbreak if we have an accurate determination of its scale and scope so that we can pursue the precise science-based response that is necessary. To put families first, our legislation secures paid leave for, with two weeks of paid sick leave and family and medical leave for those affected by the virus. And for those who lose their jobs, we are strengthening unemployment insurance, a critical step to protect workers' economic security. Putting families first, our legislation protects our children, and particularly the tens of millions of little children who rely on the free or reduced price lunch they receive at school for their food security. As schools are being closed, these children will be deprived of their meals. Our bill takes aggressive action to strengthen food security initiatives, including student meals, as well as SNAP, seniors' meals, and food banks. As we develop our next steps, we will continue to listen to and benefit from the expertise of scientists, healthcare professionals, public health officials, and community leaders so that we can craft the most effective evidence-based response. Our nation, our great nation, has faced crises before. And every time, thanks to the courage and optimism, patriotism, and perseverance of the American people, we have prevailed. Now, working together, we will once again prevail and we will come out stronger than before. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you. As I said, uh, so Politico uh, has this story up on their site right now at uh, 6, 12 p.m. You can go to it, Henry. Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced that she clinched a deal with Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin on a large-scale coronavirus response package meant to provide paid leave for workers, expand food aid, and support widespread testing for the illness at no cost to patients. Uh, of course, uh, we just played you. That was in the news conference was from earlier, and so now we actually have this here. Uh, the thing, uh, Julian, was very interesting. When you look at this thing from an economic standpoint, it's always amazing what people say we can't find money for, mm -hmm. but now all of a sudden, Fed is $1.5 trillion injection. Uh, initially, it was an $8.3 billion 
uh, allocation from Congress. Uh, the, the, the declaring of a, state of a state of emergency, national emergency, is going to free up some forty billion dollars. Uh, again, you know, this is where uh, for all those people who talk, all those damn MAGA right wing mm -hmm. people who hate government. Yes. This is why you have government. Precisely. I mean, I think when you look at, first of all, the efficacy of public health and the fact that basically this man came in and slashed public health, we know that when we have epidemics and pandemics, public health is what stops it. You can't do this in the private sector. You can't say, go get your doctor to give you a test when you, you know, when other people in your neighborhood, in your community, in your house. But the private sector the also can't say, yo, they ain't paying for this. This is the power of government. When the government says testing is going to be free, mm -hmm. do you understand? Well, and big business goes, yes, Mr. Yeah, President, we, we do. So, you know, th as you say, this is a repudiation of the individualism of the Republican Party and of this man himself. It suggests that we are a community, as uh, General Honore said, and that we have to behave like a community. More importantly, I, you know, again, saluting Nancy Pelosi, but also hoping that the Senate, she has an agreement with Schumer, but what, where is Mitch McConnell? Um, so hoping. Well, no, 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 no. That was that. That what that was. That wasn't announced. That's what she gave about three hours ago. Okay. Okay. So what happened was she gave that, uh, and then of course they continued negotiations. So a little less than about 50 minutes ago, mm -hmm. they announced the actual deal. So when Trump was up there complaining at that news conference, so that was about 4:30 when he was talking. What mm -hmm. Democrats are not doing. They, the Democrats were negotiating. Yeah, yeah. So their whole deal is they knew the Grim Reaper was going to say nothing. And so they were negotiating with Manukin in the White House. So when the White House signed off on it, then it was kind of like, okay, Mitch, get your ass in line, Brittany, because yeah. bottom line is they already <laughs> agreed to it. So what you going to do? Hello. I mean, that, but that's, the, that's the only way you deal, you, you deal with McConnell. You got to cut, cut the deal with the White House. And once they did, okay, now, now Mitch, if you got any problems, go talk yeah. to them. Absolutely. It's going to be interesting to see how everything truly plays out moving forward. Um, I know even just looking at, like, Italy, who suspended mortgages. I mean, are we really going to be doing these type of things for um, our lower and working class individuals fully? I mean, I think about those that have student loan debt that they need to pay back, high rents. I mean, what... I'm curious about what this is really going to look like on the ground. Uh, Wilmer, the, Trump, in uh, the announcement, they did not suspend student loan payments, only the interest on student loans. Mm -hmm. It's all about the language. It's all about the bait and switch, and it's all about all sizzle and no steak. And that's what the president pretty much is offering. And again, it's we keep going, you, you, we also have to focus on these neoliberal policies, Hello. which basically privatizing government operation, privatizing government function and responsibility <clears throat> under the pretext or pretense of being more efficient. But in times like these, you need, to your point, an army. You need a government. Hence, China. What did they do in Wu Wuhan pro province? Built, completely built. Shut the whole place down well, and built, 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 built a yeah. damn hospital ground up. No, they built six hospitals. Hello. In five ground minutes. up. Ground five up. Minutes. And what is their uh, exposure growth rate now? I think they had eight cases from their reporting. They had eight mm -hmm. cases over the last day or two. So they're now on the downside of the curve in terms of this illness. We had Mike Pence on Sunday <laughs> not even able to tell us how many people had been tested. Or maybe it was Monday. He, he was on CNN and he wasn't able to tell us how many people had been tested. Because the growth here has grown exponentially because we have not tested No, enough. because they don't have a website where all the data can be aggregated, but it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Everything is the coming. Webs the website is, is coming. coming. But meanwhile, we see this curve, and the curve is has a slope that is frightening. Uh, and no we question. See and and, and, and uh, for what you say, look, we're trying for that curve not to be there. We're trying to lower it. But again, though... But they don't know what the curve is. Right. And, and I, I think... Go ahead, go ahead. There, there just hasn't been enough testing, and I think it's interesting to hear that, okay, we're going to give everyone free testing, but what happens when you've waited so long to test all these individuals, and you realize you have hundreds of thousands of people that are infected are, and are continuing well, to affect have... other people, and then you're going to end up in a situation where you, you don't have enough, you don't have the capacity well, they don't have to treat tests. all of these people. There was a well, woman... Well, they're, claim, they're claiming now, they're claiming, you know, in the next week, you're going to have, you know, four million tests. 
But remember, they're three hundred million. But remember, million last million million week, million. remember last That's week, they, two million last remember week. last week they said we we're gonna have a million mm -hmm. by, the end, by the end of the week, right. and they're like, oh, actually, we're 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 not. But look, there was a there was a, an attorney in New York who rides the train from Westchester into the city. He was diagnosed with the virus. He infected his wife and his two kids. His neighbor that took him to the hospital was infected. He was infected. That guy's wife and three kids, all within the span of 48 hours. Well, the, right. And we're supposed to wait another week, another 10 days, another Come three weeks? Come on, real quick. But this is happening again and again and again because they refuse to step up and, you know, Pence and... Uh, 45 have said anybody can have a test when they want to, but that's just not happening. Mm -hmm. And we don't even know who's infecting who. But what we do know is all not to throw stones. All of this could have been prevented. And even now, there are the resources to create and provide more tests. We have 320 some million people in this country. They're talking about two million tests. Give me a break. Again, but um, but the point is here. This is what happens. Why you have government? And for the people who say they hate government. And for the people who want to say, oh, we need to get rid of government, get rid of bureaucrats, part of the problem here is that mm -hmm. private sector can't do all of this. Okay. They can't because they don't have the same capacity to order things like government does. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, so a lot of y'all are always asking me about terms, some of the pocket squares that I wear. Now, I don't know. Robert don't have one on. Nope. Now, I don't particularly like the white pocket squares. I don't like even the silk ones. And so I was reading GQ magazine a number of years ago, and I saw uh, this guy who had this, this pocket square here, and it looks like a flower. Uh, this is called a shibori pocket square. This is how the Japanese manipulate the fabric to create this sort of flower effect. So I'm going to take it out and then place it in my hand so you see what it looks like. And I said, man, this is pretty cool. And so I tracked down the, it took me a year to find a company that did it. Uh, and so uh, they make these about 47 different colors. And so I love them because, again, as men, we don't have many accessories to wear. So we don't have many options. Uh, and so this is really a pretty cool uh, pocket square. Now, what I love about this here is you saw uh, when it's uh, in, in the pocket, you know, it gives you that flower effect like that but if I wanted to also unlike other because if I flip it and turn it over it actually gives me a different type of texture and so therefore it gives me a different look so there you go so uh, if you actually want to uh, get one of these shibori pocket squares we have them in 47 different colors all you got to do is go to rollingthismartin.com forward slash pocket squares all right so first of all that graphic is way too small so uh, tomorrow we're gonna run it right down here all across the screen so it's rollingthismartin.com forward slash pocket squares all you got to do is go to my website uh, and you can actually uh, get this now for those of you who are members of our bring the funk fan club there's a discount for you to get our pocket squares. That's why you also got to be a part of our Bring the Funk fan club. Uh, and so that's what we want you to do. And so it's pretty cool. So if you want to jazz your look up, you can do that. In addition, uh, y'all seen me with some of the feather pocket squares. My sister who is a designer. She actually makes these. They're all custom made. So when you also go to the website, you can also order one of the customized uh, feather pocket squares uh, right there at rollingsmartin.com forward slash pocket squares. So please do so. And of course, uh, at goes to support the show and again if you're a bring the funk fan club member you get a discount this is why you should join the fan club now back to your roland martin unfiltered video you want to check out roland martin unfiltered youtube.com forward slash roland s martin and subscribe to our youtube channel there's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real it's roland martin unfiltered see that name right there Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.